Hello everyone and welcome to day four of Drawtober. Now if you didn't know we are doing three drawings every single day for the month of October. One drawing being a warm-up drawing of me, my character Katie. The second one being a Monster Girl randomizer redesign. And the last one a McQueen prompt. Now that you know that, enjoy the video. Alright, now for the first drawing, um, for my Katie drawing. I've been really enjoying drawing me with different characters, specifically mini-me's, which is kind of the same thing because Katie is my mini-me, but my mini-me's are branches and extensions of me, if that makes any sense. So I was talking to Chrissy and she suggested I pick Cat, and then I looked at Caddy, I'm like I should draw Caddy, and she also agreed I should draw my character Caddy. Now, Caddy is based around the word Catty, C-A-T-T-Y, but her name is spelled K-A-D-Y. The word Caddy means like malicious, spiteful, or unkind, and that is the definition of Caddy. She is petty. She is team petty, and that's what this drawing is about. Now, personally, sometimes I'm petty. We've all been there. We've all had our petty moments. I'm a girly. You know, work. <laughs> so I thought that this drawing would be fun and just like sassy girl energy and I, I really just want to draw something fun and silly and cute and that's what that drawing this drawing is so it's me and caddy two full body drawings and i have like a side view and i'm glancing back at her with like a, a little sinister look and she is glancing at me on the other side and we she we're holding hands it's kind of like i'm off to go do something but like i have her in the back of my mind of like a little devious plan or plot. I just, I had a blast with this drawing and I think the line art turned out very cute and fun. And I didn't have to take it too seriously and that's that's what I enjoyed the most. Now I have not um, drawn Caddy that much and however I just realized today her birthday is in two days. Her birthday is on the 12th because I designed her uh, last year October 12th. I realized that just now that's really cool but I have not drawn her that often she but I do think about her plot like all of the time and I was very very happy to draw her because her her she is just so cute so pink and adorable come on now one of my best mini me designs by far I feel like I outdo myself with every design I also wanted our outfits to match so I gave myself the same outfit as her but I tailored the colors to my my color palette now, uh, Caddy's outfit is a like crop top that cuts off above her biddies, but like doesn't show. It shows like the under part of her biddies, if that makes any sense. And it has a big collar, some poofy like shoulder sleeves. I don't. I forgot the word sleeves for a second. And a ribbon in the middle. And she wears undies with that and she's got socks on one that goes up to her thigh and has a bow on it and the other that just cuts off on her calf I think this outfit is very cute I don't know it's just it's devious and I like it so I gave myself the same outfit just again tailored it to my color palette something I've noticed and um, kind of fight over in my mind is Caddy's design has these two really pale pink colors one is that like white color on the sock and the collar and then that pink on her skin normally those are way too close in color and irritate me because <laughs> i it, i just i don't like having colors on a ref sheet that are so close together so in the future i'm probably gonna adjust that but i just while i was drawing this if there's anything that irritated the daylights out of me it was that that was the only thing because i just stare at it and i'm like mm, i don't like it looks fine, it, there's nothing wrong with it, but like if I wanted her design to be perfected, that's something I really need to need to look at and consider changing. And the background, I just did a hue because I wanted the characters and the poses to be the vocal point and what mattered. And of course we put Team Petty on the bottom of the picture because I just, let's be real, they are Team Petty. This is Team Petty to a T. And I just, I don't know, I love the flow of this drawing. If I had, oh my, guys, I forgot to color part of my hand. This is embarrassing. Okay, if you look at my left hand, you can see that, okay, look at the left arm of my character. See that like darker skin patch on her elbow? That's supposed to be on her fingers as well. 
I forgot to add it. I could just slap myself silly. That's so frustrating. Anyway, I was going to say that hand is a little small and that arm is also a little too thin. That's like my one critique of this drawing. I cannot believe I did that. Anyway, that regardless, I still love that drawing. I will probably go back and fix it one of these days. I won't do it for this. It won't be, you won't see the fixed one in this video. I'm just going to spoil you, <laughs> but I'll eventually fix it. I'm sure it'll annoy me enough to go back and fix it and re-upload it onto Toy House and stuff. But this is the drawing. I love it very much. I love Caddy. Can we get some Caddy support? Hello. Like she's so cute. Anyway, that's it. I hope you like this drawing. Let me know if you like it and if you like Caddy's design. On to the next drawing. Okay, for this next drawing, I will spoil it. It's pretty simple. Like, it's not revolutionary. It's pretty, is what it is. If anything, I'd say it's more character practice and working with this character. And the character is Kinney. Now, the McQueen prompt, uh, prompt board prompt was pumpkin. That is why we are drawing Kinney, because Kinney is a pumpkin. Now, uh, back in 2022, I believe, we did a Drawtober prompt, and the prompt was pumpkin, and that is how Kinney was actually designed. Here is the picture here. And I believe, did I say the, I believe the prompt was actually decapitation for this drawing. And then earlier this month, I designed a ref sheet for Kinney. And it, here it is. Now, Kinney actually, I, every time I look at Kinney, I feel like she needs more work done. But for this picture, I just wanted to practice drawing her because she is rather elaborate. And that's what we're gonna do, is just practice drawing Kinney. Something easy, something simple, because she just, she's just so elaborate. I need to work on practicing it before I go crazy. So I decided to do this kind of like a uh, side body pose with her head tilting, facing, uh, facing the camera, I guess, and then just add a sheer dress on top. Now I did obviously the body sketch because it's going to be sheer. So I need to make sure I draw the body first and then the dress over it. But I thought it was a fun, simple idea. And the line art and sketch was really solid, really good, honestly. I lined in my uh, easy pen brush and that really helped the drawing look good. I feel like when you've got a character with such like round features, like a pumpkin, of course, it's it's oftentimes better just to use the pen round brush than a marker brush. Cause often I'll be too sharp with a marker brush. One of my favorite things about Kinney's design is that, um bark pattern on her like wooden wooden bits like on her neck and her waist i love that pattern there is one other character that has that oh kinney is a mini me by the way so kinney is designed based around me that's why her hair or her leaves have that like two tufts to replicate my bangs and then the curl curl on the top of the head so she is a mini me and then the only other character that has that bark around the the tummy is Caitlyn, and Caitlyn is also a mini-me. She is to represent hoarding, and I just, I love that. I love it when characters have that. Anyway, on to colors. Kinney's colors, I have, I just fight with them every moment of my life. Orange, that bright orange is something so difficult to make look good with greens. I don't know, it's just, it looks fine because she's a pumpkin, like it makes sense, but sometimes I'm just, I, one of these days she might get a revamp and change. But for now, this is what she is, obviously. Like, I haven't drawn her that crazy enough to care that much. And she's, like, a seasonal character. So so she's, like, more of, like, I draw one off once a year and, like, for just, like, happy, joyous moments. Not, like, a um, main character I'm going to be drawing every time in, like, my mini-me series comic. You know what I mean? So, like, she's she's okay. She's passable. Like, I don't, I don't mind it. And that is it for this drawing. Simple, good, stunning. I like the sheer dress. I like it best in the brown. She's got two color palettes, by the way. I should have said that. Two color palettes. The one, for, it's kind of, like, for different parts of fall. So, like, um, when the everything's, like, the leaves have changed fully color, she's got that, like, dark brownish. But when, like, it's... I don't know, perfect pumpkin season. She's that green color. But I think I like the the brown, the brown color palette most in this. All right, and let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you like Kinney's design or what you change about it, if anything. And now on to the next drawing.
All right, everyone, let's get our monster um, randomizer designed today. Boom. Interesting, interesting. I really like these pinks and this white. It's probably gonna be a pink and red design, let's be real. All right, this is perfect. I love this. All right, let's do it. Okay, for this next Monster Girl randomizer design, I'll be honest with you. I think this is lacking so much. I apologize for the lack that is this character design. Not everything's gonna be perfect. Which is weird because I thought my last design was going to be awful and then this design ended up being awful and I had the most hope for this one. Now she has so much potential. I named her Sabrina and like when I name a character and I, I know what their name is going to be. It's it's surprising that like I feel design because like obviously I I can see who she who she is and everything she could possibly be enough to give her a name but yet I couldn't get her design right. A little weird. This is definitely a character we're gonna have to come back to. I don't know, maybe in an episode of something. I don't know. But it's just so lackluster. In the original, she has four eyes. Um, on the left side, it's just like two normal ones stacked up on each other, and then the right has those like gooey drips, and then the like jack-o'-lantern mouth. I also kept the long hair. The original kept like the the pattern and energy of the original outfit. But like it's just this is just so lackluster. It's just so bland like she needs something and like i i genuinely like the idea of this character so much we will come back to this for sure that's i because i like it so much we have to come back to it also because i love i've said this in um the other characters that redesign the second one i believe i love when characters have like long strains of hair on, on the front of them like everything about her design i should love but it's just it's not coming together in harmony and so since this is like such a meh design, I'm not going to talk about it too, too much because I just don't like it. I did try to keep the wings, but like, let's be real, they looked tacky. I had to get rid of them. Like, it just had to happen. The thing I like most about her design is the stripes on the legs, but how I added that triangle pattern to them. I like that. That's I like the most. I like that the most. Actually, the original also had stripes on her legs, but they were a different color. So I'm glad I kept the stripes. I thought that, well, you know, something good to keep from the original. Like the color palette as well, pretty good. It's just, she needs some sparkle. She, she's lacking in sparkle. Her, I did name her Sabrina. This is the one character like I've, I've named. <laughs> and that is it. Tell me what you think of this character design, what you would change. And if you like the way she is, because some people I'm sure will like the way she is. I just don't, I think she's missing a little something. Obviously I won't change her like drastically, but she will get something to make her sparkle. Anyway, that is it for today's video. This one, I feel like went by really quickly. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. But I really enjoyed it, especially my Katie one with me and Caddy. Sorry that the other two were just kind of mid, is what it is. I'm not perfect every day. I try, but you know. If you want to join today's raffle, the Toy House link is in the description and the Discord link to join is also in the description. And that is it. I love you and stay safe.